Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We have breaking news. Breaking. Breaking news. In fact, <laughs> this news broke so quickly that I was driving home from the studio and I got to the house and you were standing on the back yep. porch and you're like, turn this damn car around. I, we're true. going right back to the studio. It's true. And recording something. And if we hadn't had, if I wasn't waiting for him to come home and we had the whole thing, we would have had this out earlier, but we're gonna try to keep it concise so we can get it out fast. So yes, I was searching the internet and Variety put this lovely story up. She wrote live action series and early development because Netflix can't be the only place around that ruins franchises. Yeah, so there is a live action She-Ra coming. However, however, it has nothing to do with the animated series and God help you, Amazon, because the she rees are gonna dogpile you. Uh, no writer attached, so apparently Noel Stevenson at this point not involved and the she rees are gonna dogpile you. But here's the thing, I'm gonna tell you straight up, Probably making a live action she show is a bad idea in general. Oh, Whether think, it be yeah. the original show, a new show, the the current, the, the last, whatever that was, show. It's not going to go well. It's not going to work very well as a live action show. I don't think it's necessarily a really good idea. And the other show caused such a huge rift in the fans, in the fandom. Um, it attracted a very specific type of people that I'm gonna say, a shipper, shipper culture, which is very, very toxic. Um, very, very bullshit. Mm -hmm. I know like the problem they had with the princesses of power was because that right off the gate, their marketing department just went out to attack people. If oh, you yeah. didn't like it, it was because, you know, some, they, they were gonna label you in some bigoted fashion. Um, they, they caused a lot of problems, let's put it that way. Yeah, so maybe maybe DreamWorks learned something or maybe they didn't, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, you know, it's interesting too because we talk about she and we're gonna talk about, you know, a little more about some of the uh, the merchandising and most of the merchandise coming out is classic she -Ra. Yeah, and you know the one toy you can't seem to find from Origins anywhere? Classic she -Ra. She -Ra. Yeah, very interesting. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over 235,000 subs. Woo! Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, yeah, so, you know, at first uh, I, I saw this, I'm like, oh, shit, they're doing a live action version of the cartoon. And then we read the article and was like, oh, no, uh, DreamWorks is involved, obviously, but it's not well, the Well, you know what's going to happen? Hmm. These these shippers, the Shiris, they're going to have meltdowns on Twitter. And yep. I'm going to tell you right now, Amazon, Twitter is not reflective of the, the, the actual audience you have. It is a tiny, tiny group of people with many, many bot accounts and alt accounts trying to make it seem like it's a bigger deal. We heard from several people who had people at Netflix who said it didn't do that well as no. far as views were concerned. It did better than Revelations, though. It did. It did not sell toys either, as evidenced by the clearance, the quick clearance of mm -hmm. the uh, ill-conceived doll. I mean, the dolls were, it seemed like they did not plan to make dolls. The dolls were bad. They were bad. But compared to these uh, beautiful uh, classic She-Ra toys, which, which we're seeing coming from Mondo and Mattel is bringing out more classic right. She-Ra. Um, she's classic Shira is bankable. Yes, and people, they can make money from it. But what's going to happen is these Shiris are going to go to to Twitter and they're going to start screaming about it and demanding they get the live action show be about them what they mm. want. And my next comment is, and you know when they put anything out of it isn't like the the Noel Stevenson show. They're going to raise holy hell and have a hissy fit. And I want to know how is that any different than the old school fans that you spent years vilifying and mocking because they didn't like your version of the show. Yeah, you know, it's funny because we knew that this was going to boomerang uh, back around. We just didn't know how quickly. And, and uh, you know, the thing is, this might actually wind up being worse. This might be like, you know, we're joking before, what if they do the avatar treatment where Adora is a high school girl with high school problems. And one day she finds a magic skateboard. That's right. It turns her into Shira, and then she starts a rock band. Yeah, there was, yeah, it could, it could be much, much worse. That was all the way around. That was actually talked about. They were, yes, it's, he, you think he's kidding? He's I'm not, serious. It wasn't quite that bad, but they were talking at one point about bringing Shira back as like a gem knockoff. Yes, and it was like, a, like yeah, rock band. They were gonna have a rock band. Yeah, it's so true. It could be worse. It could always get worse. Uh, so coming from Variety, a Shira live action series is an early development. Amazon Variety has learned. As the project is in the very early stages, no writer is currently attached. So currently, Noel mm -mm. Stevenson is not attached. DreamWorks Animation will serve as an executive producer after recently producing the Netflix series, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. However, 
However, the live action version will be a new standalone story and will not be connected to the animated series. Ooh. <laughs> no movie. Uh, so here's the thing. Now, at least we release this. Shit's going to hit the fan on Twitter and it's going to be glorious. Yeah. Take it up with them. Uh, no, DreamWorks is involved because they have the rights to it. That's what I was going to say. They have the rights. They have the TV rights. So they absolutely will be involved. But it sounds to me like they're like, hmm, maybe we need to go back to basics. Or, again. They could make it worse. They could make it worse. They could totally make um, it worse. I mean, I didn't really care for the new Shira show. Um, however, it was at least upfront about what it was. It was another show with Shira paint on it, and it was mm. a reimagining. Mm. And they were clear about that. It's not like Revelations, where they said it was the He Man show, and then it turned out to be something completely different. Um, so I will give it that. I think I think there's something going on back channel with uh, Mattel and these properties, as I understand. I know Mattel has been hurrying, trying to get as much He Man stuff out as they can, because I guess. There's a threat of them. I don't know the specifics. I would have to look into it more. But there was a threat of them losing uh, the window of opportunity to make their own He-Man stuff. And so I feel like it's almost like dueling like He-Man Shira back and forth. Like mm -hmm. we got to cram out as much He-Man Shira stuff as we the can. The problem is that they're not making it into continuity it always belonged in. It just seems off and weird. Yeah, and if they're if if it's gonna be detached from He Man, which I suspect it will be, I'm I'm sure it will be. You know, then that's weird too, because again, you know, She Ra and He Man always belong together. They were, you know, sibling shows. Literally, they were siblings. Mm -hmm. They belong in the same universe. And the fact that they're split up like this is freaking weird. It's it is. Weird. It is very weird. It, it, that shows you, like, how these franchising things, rights work. We see it all the time. We saw it with Disney all the time. Um, things are, might be under different categories. But, yeah, so they're saying the show is not going to be connected to the animated show. I'm assuming they mean the DreamWorks one. Yeah, but they, they do have to come in as a, a producer because, you know, again, they have the rights. But then look at, you know, look at Mattel. Mattel produced, you know, uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, but also the new CGI He-Man mm -hmm. show, which is a totally different continuity. So, I mean, it's possible they could take elements from the Noel Stevenson show, but I have a feeling, given the way the marketing's going lately, you know, with the, the Shira stuff, that they might be like, let's do more of a Xena type type show maybe but you know, you know um you're lacking that brushable hair there i'm just you know pointing that well, she out she better have brushable hair she needs and not brushable a side hair. shave don't give her a side shave but um i'm looking down at the rest of this article and they're talking about the original show and they said about how you know she was forced the first captain of the horde and he-man's sister and they did get it right that it was two seasons um you know but nearly 100 episodes because they keep saying well the original show is only two seasons the new show is only two seasons as well. Yeah, it's two it's just 26 episodes. It broke up seasons, into different yeah. things. Bullshit, it's five seasons. It had 52 episodes. It has about half of what the original show had. So, you know, stop with that load of shit, okay? And then, you know, here's they're gonna have they're gonna have a meltdown. This is glorious. And I don't wanna hear it. If you don't like it, if we get character designs you don't like, you're not allowed to say anything. You it's just not for you. You have to sit there and say nothing. You can't be upset about it. Or you're an istophobic loser shithead of some kind in cell in your mom's basement. You're all men who just can't get off to Shira because that's the story, even if it's not true. I'm just like, you know, I'm but I, I I'm hoping it's something good. I'm tired of the divisionary bullshit. Yeah, you know, they could always go out to the DC comics and, and pick that or Oh my gosh, yeah, that, was, that was amazing. That was pretty dark too. It was very I mean, if Amazon is going, you know, because they're doing Lord of the Rings and they're going more they seem, high. They fantasy, seem to go more dark than Netflix. Yeah. I mean, if they want to go that route with it where, you know, she was a freaking murderous, you know. <laughs> well, they have what Red Sonja coming out as a movie too yeah, now. I wonder if that's what they're doing this kind of I thing for and you know, different things like it. You know, and like you said, Lord of the Rings type, you know. Yeah, so it might be more more high fantasy or, you know, the very worst, like a, a Xena type thing. Or maybe they're thinking, oh, we'll do Witcher with She-Ra. Because as long as they don't have prom and best friend squad. I mean, if it was going to Netflix, I'd be more thinking it was that. But d do not ruin it like Netflix, Amazon. Yeah. I Just mean, stop now or yeah. if you're going to. I mean, they could make a really kick-ass fancy, high fancy show with a female lead. That I mean, look at her. Her story, like especially the DC comics where she was a dyed in the wool member of the Horde. I mean, and in the filmation show, she had a freaking laser cannon in her bedroom. I know, yes, but that's you too to that's too toxic and terrible for the new version. Now they have pillow fights and prom. No. No, they do not. 
Um, and I don't think this show is going to have pillow fights and prom either. Hate to break it to you guys. I think I think they've already moved beyond Noel Stevenson's She-Ra. I think it's already over and they're moving on to something else. They need to. I mean, for no other reason than they need to do something different to try to meet in the middle. Because um, with the last show, it, it was a show in name only, a She-Ra show in name only. They named the characters after her. They changed everything. I get why some of the reasons why they did it. I'm not saying every reason they did, everything they did was wrong. But the behavior of the people that were fans of the show and the behavior of the marketing and the people working on the show was just appallingly bad. Oh, yeah. And it caused so much trouble because they just right out of the gate started attacking people. And it was utter bullshit. It was, it was a show for Tumblr by Tumblr. It was by Tumblr, literally. Behaving like Tumblr. Toward toward old school and fans. Look, no, it, it was, didn't. It, yeah. it didn't add. It, other than peeling that one audience and all their alt accounts, and they didn't make much money on it, and they didn't get the views they thought they were going to get. All the merch coming out is all classic inspired merch. Well, I think when they had the new show out, didn't it just it, all it did was increase the views on the original show, like yeah. through the roof, and yeah. it was trending. I think as much, if not more, so than the new show. I know the classic toys. The prices went through the roof. They did. I know because yeah. I could buy them. But yes, you're right. The new the the toys they're going to with these things are classic, classic He-Man, classic She-Ra. Seems to be the way they're going. I mean, with the Revelation stuff thrown in too, um, but it still looks better than She-Ra. Well, they have a She-Ra coming out in the Masterverse line. I guarantee it's going to be classic She-Ra. It's not going to be DreamWorks. Oh no, the logo was classic. Yeah, it so was the classic She-Ra logo. It, yeah, it's going to be an updated version of classic She-Ra. Because classic She-Ra sells. Yeah, and has more fans. Then the new show. I'm sorry if you don't like to hear that. Fans of She-Ra have been fans of She-Ra for decades. Could you imagine proper Hordak in live action if he looked something oh like this? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That's one that I don't think would translate well to, pro to, to live action. Either. Hordak? No, I think he would. Do you? With his if, cod piece? Not with his cod piece. But if they, look, they could do Hordak. They could totally do Hordak. Really? Because all I can, well, okay, there was Hordak as like in the 2002 He Man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Like, yeah. Because yeah. all I'm thinking of is the original Hordak, which I will be the first one to admit I love him dearly, but he was a little bit over the top. <laughs> he was, but I'm talking if they would do, you know. <laughs> yeah, that kind of Hordak. A yeah. Badass Hordak not the, with some not, cool armor and not emo Hordak. I was going to say not emo Hordak, no. With his freaking uh, Nazi, uh, haircut. Nazi haircut. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And he had daddy issues. If they could have gone away with making him orange, I'm sure they would have. Yeah, like he had freaking daddy issues. That was his problem. I'm like, no, you give us a badass. Yeah, like that, yes. World conquering, ruthless son of a bitch. Like he was. Like he was. I mean, he was a little bit of a Top, like, in the cartoon, you know, in was. the comics, he was always no, yeah, the comics badass. were good. In 2002, he was like the most terrifying villain. He was awesome. In I mean, he made Skeletor, literally made Skeletor. Skeletor made a deal with the devil, and he was the he was the yes. devil. Yes, I mean, not like oh, I have daddy issues now. I'm gonna be best friends with Entrapta, and we're no. gonna have our own problem. No, that didn't actually happen, but no, in my head canon, it did. So it's true now. And yeah. if you don't like it, you are just an isthophobic asshole. But it's it's live action. It's current year. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. I know. Everything it's not Netflix. Wrong. Yeah, it's not Netflix. So there's so a, there's that one bit of hope. Amazon, not much better, but I have more hope for Amazon than I do for if Netflix. You're gonna go so. and ruin it, Amazon, and that you're let DreamWorks ruin it again. Don't do it. Just stop now. If you know, put a fork in it. Stop. Because it's gonna just gonna piss people off unless you're gonna do a proper Shira. I want to see proper Shira, and you I, better. I think everyone want to see proper Shira. Give Melody Britt a cameo. Yeah, that was God's bullshit. Sake, give her a cameo. You know. He should have given her one the first time. That was absolute crap. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs> yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.